Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be dyeing my hair and I'm really excited. I'm doing something different that I haven't really tried before. Um, I have a purple dye, a black dye, and a plum kind of pinky dye from Iro Iro. Basically my plan today is to do some kind of like multi-color hair. Um, I've never really done that. I usually just go for like a solid color and maybe sometimes I'll do like the little front sections, but this time I want to do like random streaks, I think, like maybe like a black streak, a purple streak, a plum streak, a black streak, a purple streak. I don't even know, but I just want like fun multicolor hair. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is bleach my roots, got my gloves, I've got lots of clips, I even have a few more. I got my... Uh, bowls. I have like two bowls, two brushes. Should be good to go. Let's get started. So we're going to start with brushing my hair out, of course. Make sure it's nice and soft. Um, I'll probably end up zooming through um, a lot of this process because of course it's really, really slow. I know that with bleaching you're supposed to kind of do a part down the middle and then a part kind of down the side and work your way up. We'll go ahead and do it at least semi-proper. So we're just going to kind of randomly clip up some sections. This is the vibe, welcome to my channel. Does anyone else ever feel like, like this is the most random, ugliest thing ever, but somehow it's a vibe. I don't know why, but I feel like it's just like a vibe. Like the hair dye clipping up stuff always looks cool. So this is what we've got right now, a little bit of sections, and then I guess go like this, and we'll work on one section first, then this section, then these two. So. For now, I'm just going to clip this one out of the way and get started here. I ended up taking out the two sections um, so I can just work with like, you know, just like one back section. I feel like that's going to be a lot easier for me opposed to like two different back sections. But other than that, we've got our bleach mixture and we're going to get started. This is always like scary because it's like... Once you start bleaching, there's no like stopping, so let's see how it goes. So we have about half of it done. I'm a little nervous because I don't know how good of a job I'm doing. So I hope I didn't like miss any spots or that I'm not like pulling it down far enough. So I might just kind of go through and uh, kind of like add more and kind of touch up any areas that look like they aren't fully saturated. So here is an update, I think, I mean I started more than 20 minutes ago, but I think it's been sitting since I finished for like 10-ish minutes, and I've kind of just been like picking through my head, trying to find little spots that I missed. I got my husband to try to come help, but I feel like he doesn't know what he's doing at all. I feel like it looks like it's lightening pretty good, like it looks pretty blonde, but I also know that, um, it always looks more blonde 
than it actually is, you know? Like the bleach itself is making it look super lightened, but who even knows? We're gonna have some fresh roots and it's not even one o'clock yet. So I started less than an hour ago. I'll probably let this sit for like another 15 or so minutes. So here is the hair so far. I just pulled it out of my little hair turban. Um, I think it's okay. I think that it'll work. Like I think that the dyes that I'm using should cover it okay. I mean, it could be a little bit lighter, but I don't want to do it again. Obviously, I'm going to let my hair dry, um, at least for a little bit. I don't think it has to be like completely dry. I'm excited. Let me know what you guys think. Did I do okay? I tried my absolute best. Here's the back. Um, it is what it is. It's time to dye the hair. This is it pretty dry. I would say it's like 85% dry. I feel like it almost looks lighter now. Like it looks like the blonde is actually pretty blonde, pretty decent. Um, now we got to pour out the dyes and actually start doing this. I'm kind of nervous, but it's going to be whatever it's going to be. Here's kind of a look again. We'll start with a section this big. Oh my god, this is real. I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, I want you guys to know that, like, I have never, ever attempted streaks. I just want to see what this looks like. Like, whatever. It's just a little bottom piece. Let's just see. I'm so bad at hair dye. Like, this is going to be so messy. In terms of, like, how do I not accidentally get like different colors like you know like is there just gonna be a random like oops i got some black on it or whatever i'm gonna do a bigger section of purple i also didn't dilute the dye usually i add um conditioner to my dye because i just feel like it makes it make more dye but i'm just doing it full on full concentrated dye down here i'm gonna do a black streak just for fun and I'll probably make this one purple so let's start with a little purple streak I think that once I can kind of see what it looks like like kind of seeing the whole multicolor effect even though the dye is still wet I think it'll kind of I'll be able to see kind of what it'll look like I don't know I'm trying to make sure that I'm getting it all the way up to the root area really rubbing it in Let's do our first black streak. I've never tried the Eero Eero black, like just full on by itself, you know? So we're gonna see how black it really is, like when we wash it out and everything. Cause I know it'll fade to like a navy blue. I have a little uh, towel that I don't care about cause I definitely don't wanna like touch black onto Anything else? I don't know how other people do this. Like, do they work with like one color at a time? I don't know. Is it bad that like these are just hanging? Um, that's what it looks like so far. Thinking I don't really wanna do super, super like tiny streaks like I have been. I'm almost wondering if I should put these in a tin foil. I don't think I'm gonna worry about it though, but I think I'm gonna try to like bigger sections, like maybe I'll make all of this like black or purple, you know, instead of like tiny little ones. But I think that it's okay for those to be on the bottom maybe. YOLO, I feel like as a girly who dyes her hair, you know, like I don't mind having funky colors, I've never really tried anything bold, and I think I'm just bored. Like, I just wanna try something crazy. So, we're never gonna know until we just go for it. I'm gonna use my first piece of foil. I don't even know how to like use foil, but we're just literally going to um, do this. There, at least then there's not like a big strand of like black just hanging down, so I don't know if I did that right, but thinking a plum just so that I can maybe hide the plum ones on the bottom if I don't like them, but maybe it'll be fine. This is so crazy, I've never done like a pink color though. 
do another piece of foil. I can't believe I got a big amount right there. I also have to film some footage for a reel, so I'm gonna switch over to filming a reel, so I'll probably be kind of skipping apart from my YouTube video, but yeah. So I've made a little bit of progress. I took out the foils, it was getting kind of too complicated, and I think that it's all fine and won't do anything too crazy. So we got some black, some purple. Let me show you from the back. You can see the plum, little bit of black and purple in there. Just doing random stuff. I think it's gonna turn out really, really cool. Like I think that I'm liking the vibe that we're getting. So I'm gonna continue with, I have dye all over me, but I'm gonna continue with um, sectioning my hair and seeing what we can do. I've kind of figured out what I'm doing per se. I basically just section it and then I just kind of pick a color. Like you can see I have this plum right here. So I can either do a different color or I could do more plum. I think I might do more plum. No, I'll probably make this one black. So I just kind of like try to put a different color than what's already there unless I want to make that section thicker. I did that on this side. I had a little bit of blonde to do and I was gonna do plum and then I was like, no, I want more black because the black that I had wasn't like thick enough. So yeah, but for the most part, I just kind of look at what I have and I'm like, okay, what color should I add next and just kind of judge it. Okay, <laughs> It's really hard to do though. Like, cause the mirror, when I look in the mirror, it's like opposite, like it's like, whoa. Like it's like, where does my brush go? It's really hard to tell. But using my fingers seems to be helping a decent amount. Okay, there we go. We got a little black section. I think it's looking so cool. I have to remember to keep wiping my hands. I think for the most part, like as long as I get most of it off, it shouldn't you know, like it'd be too bad. Like for the most part, if I get some purple on the plum, it'll probably just kind of work and kind of cover it when I put the new color over top of it. Okay, so we got this section right here. I think I'm gonna do another plum section because I don't want it to just be black and purple. Like I feel like I keep gravitating towards like, oh, let's do another purple one, let's do another black one. But I do want there to be you know, like a decent amount of like the three colors so that we're truly like getting like the multicolor kind of vibe going on. See, I got a little bit of black right there. Whoops. That's okay. Okay, what do I want to do here? Maybe a purple. I think because now that we're getting closer to the top, I do want like more purple kind of like around my face, I guess. This is so crazy. I can't believe, what if it looks horrible? Like what if I, you know, I all rinse it out and it's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what have I done? I don't think it'll look bad. Like I've seen a lot of people with like multicolor hair before and it seems to always look good. And I think that you can just do random stuff and it works out usually. It's like a piece of hair that's like in there that should come down, there we go. I think it looks really cool though, even though it's just wet right now, I feel like it's gonna look dope. And I've never done this before, so I'm like freaking out. And also, I was trying to find like a YouTube tutorial of someone doing what I wanted to do and I couldn't find anyone doing this, so I feel kind of proud of myself that I'll be kind of like, I don't know, like if anyone wants to do this, it's kind of like I'm like the first person to do it, oh shit. Up there. I guess that that'll be purple up there. Okay, so that's okay-ish. Now this, I guess, what do we want to do? Do I want to, this is where I kind of have to decide. It's like, do I want, okay, see this big chunk of hair? It's like, do I want that to all be purple or do I want another color? Because I'm kind of thinking another plum, but I'm also thinking another purple. Oh God, what do we want to do? I think I'll do a plum and then another purple. Cause why not? <laughs> it's literally so random. It's basically like, okay, well I got black underneath, a purple here, a plum here, a purple, and then I'll do another black kind of vibe. Just trying to make it random. 
I'm so glad that I'm filming this because I don't know it feels so nice to just like talk to you guys while this is happening because I'm kind of really nervous I don't know if you can tell I just keep talking about how I have no idea what I'm doing because I'm like scared it's like dear god this is my hair this is real okay let's get the bottom I don't even know if I've been getting underneath I think I've been doing an okay job at making sure it's saturated so I'm sure it's fine but I might check that purple to make sure that I got it I feel like this is something like if I miss a spot you're really gonna be able to see that I missed a spot. Okay, let's make sure this is fully down all the way to the bottom. There we go. Okay, did I get, see? No, I suck. What was I thinking? Okay, let's make sure we get some purple up in here. It's nice because at least my hair is already like purple, you know, like, yeah, it's faded purple, but it is purple, so that if I miss something, hopefully it'll just add, like, dimension, like, it'll kind of be like, oh, there's, like, a pastel purple in there, too. I think we'll make this one purple, so we've got a, a purple, a plum, and then a purple again, and you guys know I love my purple, so I can't go wrong with that. I'm kind of running out of dye, too, so I'll have to top up. I still have plenty left. Uh, in the tubes, but I just didn't know how much it would take, so I'll probably top it up here soon. And it's nice sometimes to just go in with your fingers. I can't believe, like, it's so awesome that I'm like an influencer now and I get product because I don't have to feel stingy. I feel like I've always been super, like, like I'll just buy one bottle of hair dye and just dilute it with conditioner to try to make it last as long as possible. But knowing it's like, they sent me these dyes, I'm good to use them, I don't have to feel bad. It's just so nice, okay. All right, moving on to the next section. Let me wipe my hands off because they are crazy dirty. <laughs> so we know we're gonna dye that part purple, okay. Okay, that's probably good. Okay, we got a plum and a black, but I think I'm gonna be bold and let's do another black section right here. Let me make sure. I guess I don't even really mind if it's not like perfectly straight. I don't think, right? I don't think it matters because maybe that'll make it look more cool. You know, like kind of more natural in a weird way. I don't know. We're doing it. I'm really nervous about the black. <laughs> like this is right in front of my face, you know? Like what if it's not good? What if it is good? Okay, the only thing though, I don't know if I want this. I guess that it's too late. Yeah, I guess that we're just gonna go with black all the way up there. I don't know, like basically, we're going all the way to the part. There's just gonna be this weird like, I don't know, because it's kind of like random. Do you see how random that is? That it's kind of like a swoosh? I didn't really consider that that was going all the way to my main front parting, but that's where it's going. Okay, so let's make sure we get all this in there. I'm gonna do a purple, because I definitely like the idea of like a black and a purple side by side near the front. This is so much fun, oh my gosh. Oh, if you're watching this right now, comment down below right now how you feel. Like, are you scared for me? Are you excited for me? What's going through your mind right now? So we're going to play it safe here and put some purple so that it's like black and purple in the very, very front. Now I think we will add a plum streak. I gotta be brave with putting the plum on the top of my head. I just, I think I'm nervous about the plum because I don't know if I like it or not. You know what I mean? Like I've never, I'm not really a pink girly, so. I'm gonna film a little bit more for reels again too, just cause I wanna make sure 
I get enough footage for YouTube and Reels too. So we are getting there. I did a few more sections on my Instagram Reels. I can't believe it. We got a black and a purple and we got a plum underneath. And I think I'm gonna do, I don't really want it to be too like checkerboardy. So I'm kind of debating what I wanna do here. I'm kind of thinking I might just kind of keep it safe and just go purple in the front here so that it's just kind of like purple on the top because I don't really want like a black purple, black purple kind of like weird pattern and I don't really know if I want a plum. Maybe I do. Maybe I'll just do a plum. I kind of feel like I want it to be purple so that it's just purple on the top but... Uh, I also just really want it to be really, really fun, and I don't want to regret just not, like, fuck <laughs> me, just, like, drops hair dye. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and just be bold and at least attempt to put, it looks like this is already kind of purple. God, should I do purple? Like, look, there's, like, a bunch of dye on this, so I don't really know how good the plum will show up. I think I'm just going to go safe. I'm gonna just go safe and just do purple so that it looks like this front section is just kind of like, you know, like it's kind of like the majority of my hair is supposed to be purple. And then there's just like black and plum around. I don't know. I'm just really nervous to uh, make such a bold color choice decision right on the top of my head, you know? Let me know what you guys think. What color would you have done? Like, these are big decisions, you know? Like, I feel like if I was, like, a hairdresser, like, I would probably have a better idea of, like, what would look good, especially, like, you know, those Instagram hair pages where, like, they, like, specialize in, like, funky colors. You know, like, they probably have a better idea of, like, oh, yeah, that'll look good. But me, mm, <laughs> not so much. Okay, so I guess now I can just kind of blend that purple into here, and then I, I'm almost done. We're like super close to being done. So, I think I'll make this purple. I can't believe we're almost there. Oh my gosh, I hope it looks okay. Like I literally don't know what to expect at all. This could be horrible. If it's horrible, my backup plan, I think, is to just put black all over it, like all of the black Eero Eero, and hope that it just kind of like covers it. I need a little bit more purple dye. We're running out. Purple! Okay, let's get a little bit more here. Um, okay, so purple all on top here. Thinking another black one. I mean, I need another plum in here somewhere, but I don't really know where. Maybe I'll kind of hide it on the bottom ish. Because I just, I don't know, I don't really want the plum super visible at the top. Okay, we're just going to commit. I accidentally grabbed one that was already purple. So we'll just put the plum kind of in it also. Maybe it'll make like a unique color combo thing here. A lot of this is kind of already dyed purple-ish. Some of it's just my faded purple though. I don't think it matters too much if like the pink and the purple kind of like fade into each other. You know, like at the meeting points, it's like, whatever. This one, oh my gosh, do we want it black? Yeah, I think I'll do it black. Oh my gosh, the last little piece. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to wash this out. I have no idea how I'm gonna wash this out. I think, I don't think that they'll like bleed into each other too bad. Like there's gonna be no way for me to like wash one color out at a time. Oh my God, I think that it's done. I think that it's done. Whoa, okay, can you guys believe it? What the hell? Here, I'm just gonna put... Okay, I'm taking off my gloves. I am a mess. <laughs> Look at this, I have dye everywhere. 
Da -na -na. I'm so excited. Oh, I guess I will let this sit for a little while, probably at least like an hour or so. And then I'll go wash it out. I'm kind of nervous if the plum is even gonna show up. Like, you know, like, is it just gonna look black and purple? Is it gonna look plum? I have no idea what to expect, but I think it's gonna be cool. So I'll be back. So a little bit of an update. I think it's been like an hour now. It's all kind of like dry now and just kind of like, you know, it's at that point where we're ready to wash it out. So I'm gonna do it, uh, who knows? If it's gonna like bleed into each other, I'm a little bit worried about the black bleeding into stuff, but I think that it'll be okay. I think that I'll just be able to rinse it out real quick. I cleaned off the whole bathroom counter. It's all clean. I'm so excited. That's like the best feeling ever because it gets so messy when you're dyeing your hair and now it's very nice, but I'm gonna get in the shower now. All right, so here is the hair reveal. I have been letting it air dry for about like 20 or 30 minutes so far. I think it turned out pretty cool. Uh, the purple is very like blue purple, like it's more of a blue purple than I was thinking. So it almost looks kind of like blue and black with some of the plum color, which the plum now kind of looks like a purple in contrast to the blue purple. I don't know if that makes sense, but I think it's gonna fade really, really nicely and fade to more of like an actual kind of like pinky purple, like a true purple color, but I really, really like it. I think it's awesome. It's obviously still kind of wet, so I'll have to blow dry it. The only thing I kind of wish I put more plum, like I feel like there's not much, like it's like majority kind of like purple and black for sure, but let's see. Here is the back. Little peekaboo streak of like black in the front. I kind of wish it was bigger. I guess I could make it bigger, like kind of make this whole maybe like this much, just like black. But um, since, the, since it will cover, cause it's like black, but yeah. I like it. I actually don't have any hair extensions this time. I mean, I have my, old set of hair extensions that I've had for like years but they're just so dry and gross so I did order a new set of extensions from Amazon. I was going to try a new brand a few weeks ago. I bought it in preparation for this hair dye adventure but I ended up returning them because they weren't even that long. I got like I think a 22 inch or a 24 inch set and my real hair I mean it comes down to like here and the extensions were only to like there. So I just returned them because I was like, my hair is getting so long now that I feel like I don't really need hair extensions. So I'm just gonna go without hair extensions. So this is pretty much it, but I'm gonna blow dry it. Probably let it air dry for like a little bit more and then blow dry it. But I can't believe, I feel like, I think the outfit is helping too, but I feel very like, gothic kind of you know like it's just so like dark and cool and it's drying now so it's awesome but i'll be back with another update i'm like i'll be back so many times um but i will be when it's dry all right so this is the finished hair all dry um it's like slightly puffy ish like not really but like after i blow dry it it's like a little bit puffier but oh my god I think it turned out really, really good. Uh, like I was saying, I wish I did more of the plum. I was so scared and I totally should have put it right here. Remember when I was like, oh, I'm just gonna put purple. I should have put the plum. So I might like re-dye it, you know, like in a couple days or like in a week or so and add more of it. Cause I'm sure it can just kind of like go on top, but I really, really like it. I think it's so good. Every time I have fresh hair, I have to like just keep separating it and playing with it. It's so cool. Oh my gosh. Let me know what you guys think. Again, it'll have some fading to do. You guys will get to see it over the next few weeks on YouTube and on my Instagram and stuff, but I would love to know 
your opinions. Also, just so you guys know, I have a code Ladies Survival for money off Aero Aero. I'll put it down below as well. Um, so definitely, definitely check them out. I've used their dyes a few times now and I really, really love them, but I'm going to go now. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.